All right, starting off strong. <laughs> I already need to open the graphics options. Okay, so hop back into this. Did we do anything? Calm down. Uh, I don't think we did anything. Did we buy anything? No silver weapons. Okay, still just vulneraries. Let's go ahead and grab you a, another iron bow. Void, you're looking good on bows. You're looking fine on bows. Astrid. Uh, we could forge. Oh, where are we gonna, oh, what were we gonna forge? We have the Grinch. Oh yeah, yeah. Ophelia got lost somewhere. We gotta find her. By find her, I mean like we can rebuild her. <laughs> we have almost a hundred grand, god damn. All right. I don't remember what color she was. Was it yellow or was it like pink or something? I think we went over this last stream and I completely forgot. We give Ike the Brave Sword. Gotta remember about that. Thanks for, for pointing that out because I forgot I had that. Which one should we go with? Should we go with yellow or pink? Because like I don't I don't care if we... If, I mean, I don't remember what the first one was. I think it was yellow, I want to say yellow. I was like, yeah, I, yellow makes sense. Cause yeah, blonde, and I think she has yellow on her armor. Right? Armor on her on her robes or whatever. Here you go, Astrid. Oscar, right. Sheenon, you're still trash. <laughs> All right. There's that brave sword. I also give him a killing edge, ooh. Let's see. Maybe a steel sword. Brave sword, killing edge, steel sword. We'll switch one out for like a armor slayer or something, long sword if we need to, uh, before the map starts. Equip the knight's ward, yes. Yes, I did. Is racism almost broken? Uh, kind of, kind of. We recruit anyone? We gotta take anything from anyone? Doesn't look like, oh wait, yep, you. Silver blade, yes, 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 yes. Who needs a steel sword? You got it. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Can't use it yet. Uh, we do have another occult scroll, though. So, who should get it is the question. We have Aether, we have Colossus. Did you come for business? Uh, Mayu, thank you for that host. I appreciate it. All pledge, no business here. You know. You know. Uh, okay, so to give it to Astrid, we'd have to get rid of Paragon, which. It's either Soul or Deadeye. Depending on who gets it. Like, any of our Paladins get Soul, Rolf and Sheenon get Deadeye. Maybe giving Sheenon Deadeye might make him better. Give to Sheenon, he might not do damage, but that's what I was thinking, Joe. Like, maybe it'll, it'll give Sheenon a little bit of, a little bit of power that he needs.
Because Rolf actually isn't struggling too much. I think Shion's a pretty good... You know, whatever, provoke, yeah. Let's go. Deadeye. And that's the only one I have, right? Like, I don't have another one sitting here. No. So, Parody cancels support, terrain, and skill bonuses, making units fight on ability alone. Who is not able to get supports? Do I have anyone who cannot get any supports? Oscar. The Ike is with Oscar. Karen's with Oscar. Boyd cannot get any supports. If we get rid of Tempest and give him parody. Hmm. That could be interesting. Because Rolf is with Sheenon. Astrid's with Makalov. Boyd's the only one who has no supports. What other skills do we have? Just looking around. We need corrosion. Do I have that? No. And of corrosive bears. If they have high skill, they might enjoy gamble. I think we looked through all everyone's skill. 19, 21, 19, 21, 18, 24, 16, 23. Chinon and Astrid have things, but like, Gamble's 10, and I'm not gonna get rid of Paragon for Gamble, and then Sheenon just got Deadeye. So rip that. Why they give an ability that says no supports? Pretty sure there are no enemies with the support for bonuses. Huh? Uh, let's see. Does it give extra hit? Didn't wait. Does what give extra hit? Wait, an innate bonus. Showing Dead Eye is actually good. It get, oh, Dead Eye gives an innate bonus. Interesting. What about the parody skill? I mean, I that's what I thought, but like what you said about it doesn't make any sense. So, I mean, Tempest. I, to be honest, I have no idea how Biorhythm works in this game. I know in Radiant Dawn it, it moves per turn. Just do that here. Because, like, right now, Tempest is doubling the good from our Biorhythm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll sit on our, on our skills for a little longer. Uh... Well, I mean, Oscar and Rolf have nothing, so... Is there anything I want to... Eh. Eh. We'll just sit on them. Okay. So... Let's head to the next chapter. Oh, are we starting with the bridge today? I think we're going to be starting with the bridge. Oh... Joy. So you're going to lead a small unit out on a survey mission? Yeah, that's the plan. However, though, or however, though we've still taken the castle, there are still pockets of Dane resistance. It's possible they may try to mount an attack and retake the palace. I want you to be in charge of the watch. That's oh, chapter after this one. The oh, the church slaughter. Oh, it's time. That is, of course, not a problem. However, you're taking the princess along. Don't you think it would be safer to take more troops, even if we split a battalion? We have troop. We have enough men to handle both tasks. I'm just not used to moving around with such a large group. And for this mission, I'd like to keep the number of people involved as low as possible. It's not that I don't understand how you feel, but we will compromise. You know, for someone from Benyon, you're pretty flexible. It speeds things up considerably. To be a soldier, one must be able to quickly adapt to circumstances around him. All right, we'll be back later. Take care. Gonna go ghost for a bit. Each food, no problem. No problem in this, Prince. 
This is the place Nasir mentioned, Palmeni Temple. I hope whatever he was trying to tell me will become clear once we get inside and look around. I still can't believe Nasir was on day inside. I just can't. And he let the dragon girl get away, although I'm sure he had reasons for that as well. I wonder, was it really Nasir? Although besides my family, the only people I showed the medallion to were Titania, Prince Silencia, and Nasir. Thought I could trust him, I really did. Why? Why did he do it? Missed. Think about the past isn't gonna help. Let's take a look at this temple. Uh, ever seen what happens if we kill any of the priests? We really? Force hit rate, defense avoid. Wait. Don't get the. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just like a random, like, hit rate kind of thing. Oh, does it affect damage and defense as well? I thought it was just hit rate and avoid. I thought it was like an accuracy thing. I don't know. I just know Radiant Dawn's Biorhythm changes per turn. I don't know if it changes per turn in this game. But it's just like. Weird. I don't know. Not a great mechanic. Oh, what did you say? The Kremlin Army's here. They want to investigate the temple. What should I tell them? Crow, this ain't good. I don't know what they're after, but if they find us mercenaries, you side with Dane, they'll wipe us out. It is all the will of the goddess. Resign yourself to your fates. Accept it. Bat dung. No one's gonna roll over and die. Dying's for sissies. So tell me, how many are there? <laughs> there appears to be ten or so, including the women. Ah, oh, that's good news. Is it? If that's a lot of them, we can take care of this on our own. We'll be like, it'll be like stealing a baby from the cradle. Uh, right, then here's the plan. Pretend like you want to help them, then lead them inside. Uh, and listen good. You best not whisper a word about us being here or else. It, but I couldn't... What you ask is beyond me. Don't forget. We've got all the other priests under our control. Unless you want them to meet the goddess early. Do as you're told. Oh dear. If you spare the priest, you get the S rank. Yeah, I do know that. I do know that. I've just never gotten it on my own. Because some of the priests attack you. And I usually always end up having to kill them. All right, we like to take a look around. Please show us each room. Uh, very well, this is a very large room. Uh, are you all right? Why are you shaking like that? Oh, goddess, please forgive me. It's a trap. Ah, oh, you did it. Please forgive me. I thought something might th like this might happen. I don't know how you got wind of us, but showing us is such a small group means you're out of luck. None of y'all are, none of y'all are getting out of here alive. We just fought our way to the Dane capital. We're not even, you're not even gonna slow us down. Cocky, ain't ya? Who said this is gonna be a fair fight? Eh? All right, Blue Flare, thank you for sticking around. I appreciate it, heavy good night, man. Look at, wait. Carbink on his forehead? Okay, now I gotta look at the shape again. What are you doing? God damn it. I managed to spare the priests, mostly just through baiting the bishops because those are the only ones that I can attack. See, I always got my myself into a point where I either, like the bishops wouldn't move, and so I either go and attack them and get, or get hit by them and get killed by the guys around the boss, or like just kill the priest. So, hey, bring out the others. But we don't use staves, so there's no uh, incentive for us to save anyone here. You fools are gonna be on our- you fools are gonna be our shields! What? Ah, uh, uh, see, you ain't so useless after all. You filthy dogs, those are innocent people, you can't! Oh mercy, please help me. Hey, if you don't want them purty robes of yours to turn red, you'll attack these scum! You got a purty mouth, boy. That's- that's all I could think of when he said, like, god damn it. Garbin kid. If you even think about betraying us, I'll kill every, every one of you. But, but you can't. Karamians, please forgive us. We cannot allow our brothers to die. Care about bonus experience? Uh, Not all too much, honestly. This cowardice will not stand. These priests will be made to fight against their will. We've got to try and save as many of them as possible. Let's go. Like, bonus experience is, all, is nice, but at the same time, like... I'm only using nine characters in the entire game. 
So everyone's getting a decent chunk of experience anyway. Okay. We got six, uh, six chests here, and I don't think I have any chest keys left. There's a door key. Nope, no chest keys. Are there enemies with chest keys? Venom axes. Love venom bow. Okay, so oh oh, this guy. This guy. It's just okay. It's just though. Oh, killer bow. Ooh, killer bow from the boss. Hell yeah. Okay. Two chest keys and six chests. Got it. A lot of units. Yeah, I mean, well, half of them are the the priests that can't do anything. Okay. Listen to the chest item drops. Thanks, Matt. Left side, sleep staff, no sprouts, spirit dust. We'll get the spirit dust for shits. Uh, right side, silver bow. A. That is mine. Silver bow. The bottom. Bottom right. Okay. Well, can't kill him anyway. All right. Uh, stay there. Put Astrid here. Kill this guy. No thief might want to decide which chest you want. I mean, yeah, that's what I was looking at. And no thief, it's it's fine. Can't use most of the things in these chests anyway. You can take the spirit dust. You can take the silver bow, and uh, we can get two more for selling. I don't know. We have like a hundred grand. I don't know the best use. Goodbye. Bye. The Dark Angel. She was something. Hey man, that's experience. Most importantly, weapon experience, because I don't think you get much experience for killing the priests. You get weapon experience. That shit's important. Gotta get all the A rank bows. Yeah, I think I got like one point of experience for killing him. Weapon experience. Gotta need it. There's a right there. No thieves, huh? Literally right there. Oh shit. Oh, I thought that was a priest. I was like, boy. 
I mean, we're gonna kill him, but like, no need to do that. Poor guy. Oh, I should have used, uh, not a killer, steel. Steel might have killed. Oh, we can give that kill to Sheenon. He'll for sure be able to take, take that guy. There we go. Boy is gonna end up like using Colossus on a priest. Knowing him. Oh my god, Makalov, hell yeah. Good shit. Shira's witnesses. They're actually called. Uh, I probably not. How dare you heal him? Stop this right now. Anyone gonna move? No one's gonna move. Oh, all right. Well. what I say? I literally just mentioned it, and he did it. That poor priest. He didn't deserve... Also, that was a terrible placement. For me, anyways. Well. Eh, get rid of him. <laughs> that poor guy. Hit him up with that racism. I think this is the first time I've used Gamble and my hit rate was actually doable. Most of the time it's utter garbage. He really hates religion. And then Mac Love with the kill. There we go. Critical racism. Combination of words I never thought I'd see. <laughs> Alright. Oh, does that give me A rank in swords? The time? That's a Lagoose. Didn't expect that. A rank in swords. We can use the Silver Blade now. This guy can't do damage to Rolf. It's kind of crazy. Oh, you got Man. I got antitoxins on, like, everyone, though. I was prepared. Damn you fast. Damn, I was hoping we'd get like Colossus or that 4% crit. Would've been great. You know you need to kill it. Oh wait, Makalov's poison too. 
It's just hard to tell because his hair is pink. And the little effect is also kind of pink. Best key. Okay. This chest right here is a silver bow. Gotta snag that one. Got <laughs> alcohol poisoning prop. You know, that's, that's probably, uh, probably true. All right, Ike. Ike, boy. I'll gladly take that. Oh! Hi. Mr. Bolting. Forgot you were there. Another thief. Okay, so let me... Check the screenshot again. Ugh, moving, moving the mouse. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so right side, silver bow, tomahawk, bulga nun, and then sleep, nosferatu, spirit dust. Okay. Wait. I was like, where's the chest key? I haven't killed the guy with the chest key yet. Come on, Rolf. Come on. Fuck. Oh, that works. Missed anything? Just went and got some pizza bagels out of the oven. Uh, I don't think. I don't know how long you've gone. But welcome back, Evie. Hell yeah, Boyd. Still not capped. Go ahead and open this one. Silver bow. Uh, go here. Sheen on. Oh, Sheen can kill. Actually, it was the thief. Probably shouldn't have had him kill him. Well, I think I might save the rest of the key uses. I mean, I kind of want the Spirit Dust. Give it to Ike. Because we have the Sonic Sword. Why not? Don't, don't do it. That's what I thought. I, I couldn't share eight pizza bagels either. Fuck that. This is my food. Hello. Tomonami. Goodbye. Oh, you, you had words. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't even pay attention to the poor man's final words.
All right. Give me the spirit dust. Send him a convoy. Are walking out. There you go, Rolf. Tamagotchi. Yeah, rip that guy. What do we got here? Venom Axe. Lovely. We got a key? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna save him. Because there's a tomahawk, a bogunun, and something else useless. Longbow? Stop. No damage on Makalov. I, I think that's kind of the point, though. I don't think they're really supposed to be doing damage to me with Venom weapons. They just attack to get me poisoned. Ophelia. Stronger than a silver bow. Poison doesn't bother me in this game. I've gone over that plenty of times. This, ain't, this isn't Fire Emblem 7. We have like no way to cure it. Everyone has high HP in this game, too. Yeah. The annoying longbow out of here. Alright. It's really <laughs> just... And the difficulty in this chapter pretty much just comes from not killing all of the priests. We're also kind of overleveled, just because of the nature of the run. All right. Over here. Uh, use racism. Hit him with that racism. There you go. There you go. Oh, shit. Look at you, Shinon. Good shit. All right. Everyone's levels have been pretty damn great today. Let's keep that up. I don't want to fail at endgame. I really don't. He's sober. Him and Makalov. They decided not to just drink all night.
Oh, yeah, they did that, yeah. Sober up for church. All makes sense now. Okay. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can't get to two on the side. Maybe two more turns or so? You drink everything in New Year's, they don't have any more. Uh, it's probably right. Alright. Boyd's one Colossus this map was on that priest. God damn. And we dead eye a priest. I mean, that's kind of expected of Sheena. But Boyd. Too much. And we're running. We're running low on racism. We gotta fix that. Hey, robes! If I get so much as scratch, you better get to healing. Fuck. No one can jump that high and flip at the same time aerodynamically. Nah. Nah. Not sheen on can. Definitely. Running on racism only in fire on would you eat that? Eh, I mean, also possibly in the south. I mean, it was a 60 hit. I didn't expect to actually land it. Turn we win. Hi, how are you? <coughs> mm. Um some damage. Now, this guy might be a bit too bulky to kill. Oh! Damn. I thought Sheenon was gonna go in. That's fine. Because we can finish off Oscar, which should level him. Should have brought more priests or some babies. Dang. I think I have a picture for this. Because I remember seeing this, and someone found- there's some comic book villain. I don't know what comic book- I don't know what- what happened. But someone edited a comic book that some villain strapped babies to him. Hold on, hold on. Let me check my pictures folder. I feel like I have this picture. I've definitely seen it. I forgot about that line. It just... Hold on. Uh... I have this picture. Please tell me I saved it. Because it's too good. 
It's too good. Uh, da 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 da. Why didn't save it? Why didn't I save that? Fuck. Fire emblem. Schaefer. Images. That's all I needed. That is all I needed. The dubious just find it too. Yep, they usually got Fire Emblem Schaefer and you find it. <laughs> I'm glad it was easy to find. Save in that. Those curious watching the VOD, just Google Fire Emblem Schaefer and you'll find it. It's amazing. Oh my god. Okay. Not okay with this. I'm okay with this. This is perfect. <laughs> I mean, he's like, that's the perfect, that's the perfect thing. If you are a vest full of babies, alive babies, you, you can do whatever the fuck you want. They're not gonna, they're not gonna take you down. It's genius. I just googled villain. Oh, I googled Fire Emblem Schaefer and I found it. Thank you for giving me speed. That is why I gave you the boss kill. Thank you. Thank you very much. I never imagined that we would be rescued by soldiers of an enemy nation. There's no, uh, there's no way we'd cut down innocent priests being forced against their wills. Uh, about that. <laughs> and yet, we're not able to save everyone. Peace, my lord. We were expecting to be killed at once, yet somehow you rescued so many of us. I'm sure that even our great departed bishop, Tomonami, is grateful for your aid. Father, we bear, we bear no ill will toward the kingdom of Dane itself. We wish only to reclaim the homeland that was unjustly taken from us. That is the reason we fight. We had no desire to invade this land. If nothing else, please believe that. I beg your pardon. May I have the favor of your name? Elincio Rydell Crimea. I am the sole survivor of the Crimean royal family. Oh, you... Let us give thanks that you are alive and well. And please, I beg your understanding as well. There are many Dayans who do not support the king's actions. I understand. Man, what is this one? Oh, is that the same thing? I was just re a repost. All right. Now it's time to search this place. My lord Ike, may I join you? Sure, why not? Everyone's lending gut. Ike, Ike, where are you? Missed him. Missed him over here. Ike, this way, quickly. Rayson's in trouble. What? Wait, what did I just miss? I'm so confused. You wear a vest full of babies, you're gonna have to listen to them cry. Headphones. You know. Raisin? What is it? Not Raisin. <gasps> I forgot about Raisin. It's Raisin. My bad. Who's Raisin? This is clearly Raisin. And like this, from the moment he's set foot in this room, he's just staring at the walls. Was this whole time? Yeah. We got, um, like eight or so chapters ago. What is all this? Every wall has the same pattern on it. Not a pattern, it's an ancient language. <laughs> you fucking idiot. You uncultured fucks. All chants and spells and magic scrolls are written thusly. Can you read it, Soren? Some, but not all. Spells are simple, whereas this is a complex narrative. I think Prince Raisin, or Raisin could read it. I bet mean, this is the same language that Leanne was speaking. It is. It's the Serenus language. Their chants are all in this language, too. So Raisin is reading what's written on the walls? It appears that way. Should, shall we leave or shall we leave him be? There's a lot of writing here. This could take hours. I think that's a good idea. Ike. What is it? From what I could gather, I think a person was locked in this room sometime in the past. 
You don't know who it was, do you? I wasn't able to read enough of the writing, but I found this under the bed. Is this... I think it may have belonged to whoever was in prison in this room. I, I apologize, I took up much of your time. Raisin, you don't look so good. Why don't you rest up for a bit? No, I'm fine. It's more important that we talk. About the owner of this feather? Was it in that room? Soren found it. Whose was it? Lilia, my older sister. The writing on the walls is hers. You have an oldest sister too? Will you tell us about it? She was kidnapped 20 years ago on the night of the Serenus Massacre. I thought that Lilina, or Lilia, not Lilina, missing a letter, had been murdered along with my other brothers and sisters. I believe that until today. Who took her? The wolves say only that he was a large human. She probably never knew who it was. He thrust a clan treasure at her and demanded that she use her magic to revive the things sealed inside it. He exhorted her again and again, but to no avail. Lilia refused his request every time, because she did not possess that power. Someone wanted to revive the Dark God. Shortly after she was brought here, Lilia fell ill and collapsed. I'm not surprised. It was a terrible time. She was imprisoned in that tiny room with no view of Earth or sky. Oh, that's... Oh. <laughs> Missed. I'm sorry, I just feel so sad for Lilia and for, for Raisin, too. I beg your pardon, let me continue. A young Bjork began coming to the room to care for Lilia. She had bluish hair and bluish eyes, or and blue eyes, and her heart was unusually pure for a Bjork. In time, Lilia and she became to be friends and shared a, and shared a mutual trust. Lilia decided to entrust her hopes to the woman. We shared no common language, so it took some time. Eventually, the Bjork woman understood what it was Lilia wanted which was to take the treasure and the song and flee this temple. Brother! Is there anything else written about this Bjork woman? A name, perhaps? Translated into our language, it was probably... Elena. I knew it, mother! It was our mother! What? Are you sure? A large human, I knew Andre the Giant was behind all this. <laughs> Our mother's name was Elena. Like me, her hair was blue, as were her eyes. Raisin, the object you refer to as your clan's treasure was an aged bronze medallion, wasn't it? Uh, how did you know that? The medallion became my mother's keepsake. The song, too. My parents both gave their lives to protect it. Ike, you and Mr. Are Elena's children? Then Laurent's medallion is here? Um. The medallion was stolen, probably by Dan. I can't. This is unbelievable. Can a thing like this be chance? To be honest, I don't fully understand all that's happened, but it all makes sense. It all comes together. Probably can't hear that very well, because I can hardly hear it. It's very quiet. Mist. That's the song that... The melody's a little different, isn't it? It's similar to the song Raisin and Leanne sang in the forest. My mother used to sing it as a lullaby. It's a song of release, the one Lilia entrusted to Elena. But I wore the medallion and sang that song almost every single night. Nothing ever happened. The magical effect of the song is awakened by the power of the singer. It can't be unleashed just by anyone. The true song of release can only be sung by a girl named Altina. I was like, and Altina's dead. Just badass that had fucking two swords. Lilia wanted your mother to take the melody to Altina and return the medallion to its rightful place in Serenus Forest. Tristan. Of course. You would have a Moon Moon sub. You would have a Moon Moon sub. God damn it. <laughs> How you doing, Tristan? The story is becoming. Uh, the story is becoming clearer and clearer. My father fled Dane to protect my mother, who was carrying the amulet. Ike, how did you know? Volk told me. He told me about my father's past, and the amulet, and the dark god, too. Do you know everything? And Ashar took Lilia, didn't he? That would be the final piece of the puzzle. After all, the man who found my father was the king's henchman. Ike, who are you- uh, are you saying you know who killed Commander Grail? 
never said anything about that. We all thought his murderer was unknown. Why didn't you say anything? I don't know. I never felt like talking about it. He was a Dane soldier, wasn't he? Who was it? Who was the man who killed Commander Grail? Ike, tell me! Titania, your man's is dead. I'm sorry. Calm, calm it down. <laughs> Can we discuss this later? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, of course. Up to this point, we've all been fighting for the liberation of Crimea. Even now, or even we now, or even if we now add that to stopping the Dark God from being released and punishing Commander Grail's killer, our enemy remains unchanged. King Dayan and his henchmen are the ones we must defeat. It's mysterious, isn't it? I mean, Reason said the same thing earlier, but... Could all of this really be mere coincidence? The fall of Crimea, Ike's parents, the death of Raisin's sister, the fact that everything leads back to Dayan? If true, it changes the meaning behind this war. The treatment of Lily is one thing, but the assassination of the former apostle, the framing and destruction of my nation? If it was all part of Dayan's plan to steal the medallion and the song, then I... I... the reason I fight... Well... Everyone is on the same page. Still fonting it. I mean, I don't know their age difference. I don't know how old Titania is. It might not be that bad, kind of. If that's the decision you've reached, we have respectfully will respectfully comply. If we can march quickly and know that someone's protecting our backs, it would be a huge relief. As you wish. May the fortunes of war be with the Crimean army. If you, if you have need of soldiers, send word. We move out at top speed. I'll be counting on it. I mean, yeah, wife is dead. He, like, he is a single man. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was her time to slide. And then he died. The, inf or the information gathered at Palmeni Temple leads Ike ever closer to the hidden truth behind the war. The assassination of Benyon's former apostle led to the massacre of, of Serenus. A Serenus princess was kidnapped. The medallion is stolen. A complex scheme... That's not the word scheme, so, uh... Skein. Skein. A length of thread or yarn. Loosely coiled and knotted. Oh, okay, I see. I was like, I didn't read the rest of the sentence. Like, what does that have to do with anything? Okay. We learn. A complex skein seemed to connect these events. And now those threads have become clearer and clearer. Ashnard's motives have, are still a mystery. But his silhouette lurks in the shadows of all that's happened. Ike returns from the temple and renounces all rights to the rule of Dayan. Those rights are then passed through General Zelgius of Benyon to the Apostle herself. The Crimean army absorbs another troop from Benyon, and with its might increased marches on the Dayan Crimean border. Its next goal is the Riven Bridge, a massive structure that connects two that connects the two countries. Learning with Poldu, yup. Ike is gay. Uh it's like, not confirmed, it's just heavily implied. So, like, there's no hard evidence, but there's things here and there that kind of point to Ike being gay. My lord Ike, may I have a moment? Of course, what is it? So, just say that tomorrow we'll be able to see the Great Bridge. Once we cross it, we'll be in Crimea. That's what I've been told. Feels like I've been away for many years. Crimea's the land where I was born and raised, so to... To feel so removed from it, I feel now at this late juncture that I know almost nothing in my own country it is an unreal experience. I know what you mean. I don't have the sense that we're on the brink of being back in Crimea either. I don't even remember this area at all. It's because I was born in Gali and raised in the countryside. But countries are joined together like this all over the continent. I'm really in awe of it all. So am I. For one who knew nothing of life outside the royal villa, everything is so very big. Big? Mm, yeah, I guess you're right. When we left Crimea, it was spring. The snows were melting, the days were getting longer, and the weather was mild. It's been almost a year since we departed. 
Only a year, but the distance we've traveled to get here has been long and hard. It feels like many years have passed by us, or passed us by. Yet this is the land where I was born and raised. Oh, my dear sweet Crimea, how is that you feel so far away? For me too, Crimea is my homeland. We're almost there. Let's go home. It is as you say, my Lord Ike. Let's go home. Ooh, what a romantic setting. I... Huh, I know that voice. Oh. I was like, I don't remember who's talking here. Like, gate more than... It, yeah, yeah, it's it's an implication. It's no, nothing, like, fact. But, yeah. Hey there, Ike boy. Looks like we stayed alive long enough to be re reunited. Aren't we the lucky ones? Renolf! My lord Renolf, how nice to see you again. My princess Alencia, welcome home. I had curtsy, but the tail makes it look silly. <laughs> what? What are you so chip what are you so darn chipper about? Once I heard the news that the Crimean army had taken the Dane capital, I ran all this way to greet you. How go things in Gallia? You're not engaged in open hostilities with Dane, are you? Not yet. What's that supposed to mean? In light of your army's success, the elders have finally agreed on something. Galia will lend its fullest support to Princess Crimea's efforts to liberate her homeland. It's a done deal. Her voice is back, yup. Really? So is the Galian army going to... Are going to establish communications with them and create a united front? That being said, Galia is here to support you. The Crimean army will always be the, at the center of the effort. Uh, don't forget that. <laughs> Fucking hell, Dorian. You know, I closed that because like... No one else will do it. Like, there's always already one too many. God damn it. Thank you, Dorian. Hold on, I gotta consider it a gift from Mr. Monopoly. Thank you, Dorian. I really appreciate that. Out of nowhere, right? Fucking, uh, that got me. That got me good. After the, yeah, after the chainer, it was like, it was, it's done. It's done. I don't gotta expect it. I mean, I never expected it to begin with, but like, it won't happen. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> uh, I remember that I don't have those type. I, I don't have those typing backgrounds to use the storm. So we're egglock, which is my thumbnails. It's on my old PC's drive. You wouldn't happen to have? Yeah, yeah. I use them like all the time. I can. Uh, I'll uh, shoot me. Shoot me a reminder on Discord so I can see it after my stream, and I will send them your way. But yeah, Dorian, thank you. I appreciate it. Ingeli is being most gracious. That posture will allow Crimea to lay claim to any victories we achieve. This next map is going to be really long. Yeah, I don't know if I want to take it on tonight, considering it's already 11.30. Don't say things like that. I'm shocked that you would understand such subtleties. Who are you and what have you done with Ike Boy? The son of Jeber knows you are a phony. I don't believe you have the right to speak to me like that. You dare question the son of a shepherd? Kidding, actually. Uh, Soren just lectured me on the same situation when we received reinforcements from Benyon. Of course, you were tutored by your nervous little staff officer. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Now I get it. Has he snapped yet? He seems high strung. King Kanigus is always thinking of Crimea, isn't he? How can I ever repay him? Princess, uh, let's win your country back. When that's done, please rebuild the bonds of friendship between our nations. That would be the ultimate way to say thank you, wouldn't it? My message will leave no occasion. Awesome. <laughs> hey, it was a perfect opportunity. That's like the one line I can always remember Rolf say. Yes, yes, of course. Holy shit, 400 bonus experience just for saving a little bit of them? God damn. And that's hard mode bonus experience. How much do you get if you save all of them? Holy crap. Okay. We got support? Oh, she on, oh, she on her Rolf time. These ones are good. Get over it, Rolf. Oh, come on, it was in your best interest. What a stubborn brat. If you're going to be like that, I'll just leave. You threw my bow away! <laughs> Listen, Rolf, if I had to let you in on, 
If I had to let you onto a battlefield with that bow, you would have been killed. I prevented your death in advance. Heck, I saved your life. You should be thanking me. I know that, Uncle Shinon, but I put my whole heart into that bow. I just wanted you to be happy. <laughs> the first time I went into battle, my feet were shaking because I was so scared. But then I held the bow that you made for me, and it gave me strength. And it and I said, Rolf, you can do this. I learned absolutely everything from you. That's how I stayed alive this whole time. But why on earth, why would you depend on me like that? I mean, I just taught you how to fire the bow on a whim. But it still made me happy. My brothers let me, never let me do anything. They still treat me like a baby. But you hadn't taught. But if you hadn't taught me archery, I'd still be sitting at home right now. I'd hate waiting around while everyone is fighting for their lives. I mean, we all made it back yesterday, but what about today or tomorrow? At home, all you do is wait and wait and feel terrible. I hate it. <coughs> oh, I'm dying. A max of 860 in hard mode. Oh, nice. Rolf, I know how you feel, but adults don't want to send kids to a battlefield if they can help it. Only a complete madman wants to be involved in the death of someone else, especially if it's a kid. But that sad thing. Uh, but the sad thing is, it's more about making ourselves feel better than saving the life of another. The fear of being responsible for a death is always in the back of our minds, so we try to lessen the guilt as much as possible. Humans, m most humans. Through the pain of others. Holding that back is a lot harder than you think. Wow, I never thought about that. It's a rough lesson to learn. Ugh, I hate adults like nothing else. All ego and pride. How old are you, Shinon? Kids live a, m live a more honorable existence. But you're growing up fast. So the sooner you learn to survive, the better. So that's why you taught me archery, isn't it? It wasn't just a whim. Well, maybe. But if that's what you want to think and it puts you in a good mood, it's fine by me. All right, like thirty. Yeah, I was gonna say like I hate adults. Like Sheenon. All right. Well, no, thirty. Thirty. Like, like we we gotta go by like anime ages. Like, if anyone in our army is like thirty, it's gotta be Taronio, the dude who looks like he's fifty. But like, that's like anime thirty. Like, yeah, yeah. So, Sheenon could be like. 18 or so. I mean, still pretty old, yeah. Yeah, by anime stand true. Now, that's like 30 in front of, I mean, he's... He looks 50, but, like, he's gotta be, like, 30. We're going to see a special conversation from him soon. Oh shit. Oh shit, what is this? I don't remember this. Understood. Proceed as ordered. Sir, yes sir. What's next, huh? Who's there? Sir, yes sir. Hey, it's General Ike the Great. I heard all about it, you know. Those guys went and made you a noble. He nod. Good for you, huh? <laughs> You're in love with a pretty widow princess as you're fighting side by side with her sub you went pals. Yeah, you're moving up. Oh, look at you. It's big Mr. Ike leading the good life. They're not subhumans. They're lagoos. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here's the deal. Now that you're a high-class noble, you can't be running around with a bunch of broke mercenaries. All the other nobles are gonna laugh at you, so give it up. I'll do you a favor and take over. I don't think so. I'm gonna continue as commander of the Grail Mercenaries. Screw you! You always get everything. Don't you ever want to give up anything? No, it's not important big, not important big Mr. Ike. You've always been like this. You act like you're so you're not interested in something, then you swoop in and steal it away. Hey, Genon? What? What? And watch out you say my name, boy. 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 Widow boy Ike. Widow Ike. <laughs> Genon, what's wrong with you? Are you feeling all right? What do you care, you snotty whelp? It's none of your business. And another thing. About the command of the company. If you refuse to give it up, at least change the name. You're not Commander Grail, just because you're his son. That doesn't... 
give you the right to use his name. You know, are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll be fine. 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 Ugh, I don't feel so good. But <laughs> it was never about the commandership. It was about my father. I don't remember that conversation at all, but that's good. That's a good one. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get something from Zorin. <sighs> Zorin, are you in here? Yes. I can slate. What do you want? Shh. Oh, no. Sneaking into Soren's tent at night, you saucy, you saucy man. Um, Ike? Oh no, how strange, I was sure he'd come this way. You! That voice, it's the woman from the item shop, isn't it? Commander? Ike, where have you gone, handsome? Crud. Did you run in here to escape? <laughs> Look, whenever that woman corners me, it takes forever to get away. Let me hide in here until things simmer down. If you begin marching tomorrow morning, this is a waste of valuable time. I'll go and chase her away. But wait, Zorin! Hi, Ike Poo, where are you? Amy? Oh, Zorin, ew, I, I mean, um, hi, why are you out so late? <laughs> ew, I like that that's her purse. <laughs> Do you have some business with Ike? Well, yes, I do. I found a special something that I'd like to give him. Do you know where he is? Ike is in a war meeting. If you have something for him, I can hold on to it for you. Hmm, what should I do? You see, I have this new staff. The staff is very valuable. I'm not sure if I feel comfortable simply handing it over to someone who doesn't understand that. That's a hammer, and is it not? A rare staff that can take any item, no matter how battered and worn, and repair it completely. Why, that's right. You, you're quite knowledgeable, aren't you? If I may continue, I believe that there is only one of these in all the world. It's truly, it truly is priceless. And do you want to give this to Ike? Well, I do want to be helpful. If you truly wish to bring Ike's attention, or capture Ike's attention, bringing him staves and whatnot will avail you nothing. What, really? Oh dear, I was so hoping you would like it. Food, however, would be much more effective than a staff. He's particularly fond of spicy meat dishes. Oh. You speaking from experience? Is that so? Cooking is not something that I'm skilled at, but well, I've got it. I know the perfect dish. Uh, good. You will be very pleased. Uh, what about the staff? You can keep it as a payment for the cooking tip. Take care of, take good care of it. Spicy meat dishes. Yup. <laughs> well, she's unexpectedly generous. I received something quite nice from your admirer, I Ike Poo. Thank you so much. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, let's go ahead and use some bonus experience. Oh my God, these levels, Kieran. Yes. I'm saving. So if I get a blank level up, I'm I, I'm gonna want to reset. Soren's chilling. <laughs> oh. All right, you can have one, Ike. That works. You got speed with no strength last time. Now you can have strength with no speed. Uh. I just give, like, everyone a level, I guess. Well, not everyone can get a level, but people who are kind of close. <gasps> Makalov! Oh my god. This is happening right now! I'm saving. I'm saving. Can't risk the... Can't risk the blank level. Cannot risk the blank level.
There it is. There it is. Alright. I mean, it's fine. I got so many good levels. Put it in the convoy. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see, Ike can now use this. Why not? This racism is even stronger. Ike Poo Bo Wen. Oh, fuck. I mean, I can only, I can only forge one item per convoy. I'm down for an Ike Poo I am very down for that. At time. Alright, Dorian, thanks for sticking around. Donation again, thank you. Uh, hope you have a good night. Um... Let's kind of replenish those. Same thing here. Uh, that looks good to me. Well, actually. All right. That anyone run out of vulnerabilities or something? I don't think so. No, but you don't have a antitoxin because oh, I was like because I don't have any, but nope, I have one right there. Let's be red for Amy or black for Soren. For red, I don't think we have a red, so I'm down for that. The black doesn't show up all too well. Red like, red like Ike's blushing face. God damn it! But I, I like, I like the uh, red. Uh, okay. Let's sell all the shit that we've been piling up, like the spear and those and that. And this priceless hammer that, you know, if there's only one in the world, someone only buys it for 900 gold. Let's go ahead and take the spirit dust with Ike. Raise that sonic sword power, you know. Okay, um... I want to buy some more bows. I'm kind of running low. Ew. The ones that equipped cannot be sold. No, no, no. Okay. Silver. Oh, I see silver weapons, but not yet a silver bow. I can't buy iron bows here. Oh. Well, that's great. Oh, 
I want 15. Alright. One, two... I'll buy three silver swords for Ike, though. Actually, let's do this. I don't want to use the Brave. Not quite yet. At the same time, once I get the, uh, the Ragnell, like, no other sword matters. Okay, um... I think that's everything I needed to do. So we're all... We're all set to go. We are ready to go. For Wednesday and the bridge. I'm not gonna look up a map of the bridge. We're going to just suffer through it. Because the map just takes every ounce of suffering out of it. And, you know... It's an awful, it, it's an awful experience, but at the same time, I feel like it's one of those things, you just gotta go. You just gotta do it. Unless you've memorized... I mean, unless you've memorized all the pitfalls and stuff on the map. You just, just hop in there. And we'll see, uh, if we get locked out and have to reset. <laughs> but, that is gonna do it for us tonight. Uh, Wednesday, because we finish Shantae tonight, I, we will be beginning our Dark Souls 3 uh, playthrough. And I got some interesting ideas because character creation is very important in that game. By very important, I mean I enjoy making horrific things. But there's an idea I have that I think you guys might like. Uh, Involve possibly involving Jezebel. We'll talk about it more on Wednesday though, whenever we start and get into the character creation. We'll have we'll, we'll take a we'll take a vote to see what we're going to do. But uh yeah, it should be a lot of fun. And thank you guys for coming out for all the support tonight. The donation like spam scaring the shit out of everyone. That was thank you. Thank you. I like, I never, I never, I, yeah, I, yeah. thank you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I just really appreciate it. Have a good night, everyone. Oh, wait, wait, this is gonna, this, shh, did I save? I don't remember if I saved. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Don't, don't leave me. Don't leave me! Father!